Achieving weight loss is not that easy. It needs a good strategy, planning and motivation to lose weight. Some of the weight loss tips, which can be followed at ease, are listed here to stay healthy as well as to stay fit with a perfect body figure. Eating the right way helps achieving weight loss goals. Taking meals in smaller amounts, frequently helps in being energetic all the day and prevents from eating more. Eating out is often associated with obesity as when dining outside, most of the people don't check what they eat. Hence, to achieve weight loss, it is better to avoid dining outside. Break fast should not be skipped as it has been found out that, people who do not skip their break fast are very successful in losing weight. If break fast is skipped the bodily metabolism slows down and when food is taken during lunch, it results in increased insulin levels and in turn weight gain. It is good to stay away from beverages rich in fat and sugar as they will increase the insulin levels in the blood, while caffeine content can lead to dehydration. Diet strategy can be planned in such a way that, without having to cut the favorite foods, they can be consumed in smaller portions along with healthy fresh vegetables or fruits to get a filled up feeling. By this way, the nutritional value of the food consumed as increased and fat-rich foods are minimized. Increased consumption of protein helps in burning the calories and avoids the storage of fat in the body. Protein supplements also help in building and preserving lean muscles. Water plays an important role in weight loss as water hydrates the organs in the body. It suppresses hunger pangs, and can be taken in more amounts to get a filled up feeling. Plan how you want your diet plan to be, adhere to it strictly and it is advised to keep a log for noting down what you eat and the amounts you eat with the weight measurement every week to analyze if you are progressing or not. Stay motivated while going through weight loss measures to attain success. If weight is lost the healthy way, it benefits the person with a lower blood pressure, being able to be energetic in spite of controlled intake, healthy heart and organs, better body figure, less stress made on the bones, joints and muscles, and the most important of all stress-free. Why can TI lose weight that's the question many people ask when their weight loss plan isn't working. Asking yourself, why can't I lose weight, is actually one of the best things you can do for yourself. It says you know that what you're currently doing isn't working for you. You're at the place where you're ready to look at alternatives, try something different to get a result you want. So why can't you lose weight? Here are three possible reasons you may not be losing weight, and some suggestions on what you can do about it. Number 1. Medical reasons. Now this is not the same as saying you're genetically programmed to be overweight. That is hogwash. In fact scientists estimate that even if you do have a genetic propensity to gain weight, your genes only account for 15-25% of your current weight. So forget the genetics excuse. But there are medical reasons that some people can't lose weight. Low thyroid, adrenal exhaustion, insulin resistance and other medical conditions can make losing weight near to impossible. That's why before starting any weight loss plan, you should talk to your doctor first. Have a full workup and make sure that you don't have any health issues standing in the way of your weight loss. There's nothing more frustrating than trying to lose weight, doing all the right things and not losing an inch, all because of a medical condition. Get the medical condition cleared up first and then address the weight, in fact, the weight may just go down on its own once you get the medical condition addressed. Number 2. Emotional Eating. I recently read an article where a nutritionist estimated that 75% of overeating was due to emotions. 75%. Can you imagine what would happen if you learned to eliminate emotional eating and cut out all those calories? What a weight loss impact. The weight would be falling off. Unfortunately, in today's world, emotional eating is on the rise. Most people today are feeling the pressure of an increasingly hectic lifestyle. We hardly have time to tie our shoes, never mind deal with our emotions. Because of this, our emotions get stuffed down and ignored until finally they explode and we're face down in a bowl of Rocky Road ice cream with extra chocolate sauce. Here's the bottom line, you are human and you have emotions. Your emotional needs are important and need to be addressed properly with love. You need emotional nurturing and proper emotional care. If that means you take a 5-minute break every few hours at work to regain your emotional balance, do it. If that means you need to unwind by doing a mall walk and window shopping after work, 
Don't let anything stop you. Learn to nurture your emotional health and you'll nip emotional eating in the bud, and start losing weight fast. Number 3, Mismatched Weight Loss Plan. There are many different ways to lose weight and dozens of weight loss programs to choose from. Some plans emphasize a change in diet, others emphasize a change in exercise, others focus on the inner reasons for overeating. Every person is different and will lose weight in their own unique way. If what you're doing now isn't currently working, it may be a simple case of personality plan mismatch. Maybe instead of a diet-focused weight loss plan, you would feel better with a fitness-focused weight loss plan or a psychological weight loss plan. There are lots of plans to choose from and you deserve to take your time and find one that fits your personality and lifestyle best. If you think this is the case, take some time to review different diet or weight loss plans. Find one that you can get excited about, one that makes sense to you and that fits your belief system and personality. That's when you'll make real weight loss progress. So those are three possible reasons for your weight loss plateau. You don't have to stay stuck in a weight loss rut. You don't have to keep asking yourself the frustrating question, why can't I lose weight? Keep believing in yourself and in your dreams. Don't give up and you will get there.